All right, I'm about to drain the radiator. There's a little valve right here. Turn out a little bit and got to drain it into this pan. Pretty simple. We'll flush it and refill it. I replaced the fan belt. The Duralast was the one that they said would match up. I think all we gotta do is loosen this alternator and uh, the belt should loosen up. Yep. Comes right off. And then we'll see if it matches up. We put both new radiator hoses, that one right there, and this one, and now uh, we got a new radiator cap and oil fluid cap. In the last clip you guys just seen my dad uh, drain the oil and radiator fluid. We're uh, filling it up. You do a half water and half a radiator fluid. It takes about uh, two gallons of radiator fluid and two gallons of water. When we were uh, putting oil on the motor, it was coming out of these two holes right there and dripping all over. So we're going to try to find bolts that fit and refill it. Put some uh, bolts that fit and put some uh, tape on them so they don't leak. We got some nicer oil and we're going to fill her up. Check to see if there's any leaks. I don't see any. Oh, right there. Oh, right there. We're checking the dipstick to see if that's filled. Turn off the oil. It's almost to the top. I think we got to add a half a corn. Let's check it one more time. That was five quarters. Just under the full. Let's let it settle a minute and check it again in a second. We're replacing some of the parts in the distributor. Replacing this part right here. And uh, the cap. Out with the old one. In with this new one. Moving the, these four bolts right here, taking a buffer off, and we're gonna custom make a buffer with this, this piece of metal right there. And that's pretty much what it is. We're just gonna bend it a little on the sides or just leave it square. We just cut like eight bolts off and took the front bumper off. It's pretty it's bent in two places. And What's up guys? So today we're back at Harbor Freight. We're going to get a lot more sand for this sandblaster and a paint sprayer to spray down like a clear coat and protective coat on the frame. Sandblaster gun and a couple of uh, adapters for the sandblaster gun. <coughs> this paint sprayer, it's 20 bucks in matte black powder coat paint for the frame. And this big bag of sand. 
or melts, like chipped off and beat really hard. So, uh, trying to find a good one. I just want this big one right here. Chip off and melt. Came back from the store. I got dressed, did my hair. When we start sandblasting, put some of the sand we got in the sandblaster and uh, clean up the frame. This is our uh, paint pack thing. This is what it looks like after we sandblast it. It's all rusty before. We had to stop working on the truck, and I had a soccer game. We uh, lost like four to three or something, but we're at Harbor Freight again, our fourth run, trying to get some uh, lower grit sand uh, to, to sandblaster because the last time it was uh, not clean. We're gonna get 250 pound 80 grit glass media for sandblaster. This is 50 pounds on my shoulder. I'm so bad. Is this all together? This is mine. Made it to a truck. Really nice upgraded Jeep over there. <clears throat> hey. Man, I know that I could make it, well I think Cause I see success before my very eyes But then I blink, but I think That I know just one day that some way I'ma make it Sometimes I just don't think that I could take it They say, yeah, that, that don't kill you Make you stronger Patience is a virtue and all that shit, all that shit. But I don't know if I could wait much longer it probably be Got home from Harbor Freight I'm gonna change all my soccer clothes Put some uh, better clothes on and we're gonna start sandblasting the frame. Let's go. I just changed room the uh, vacuum out the inside and the floor and just do, do a slim coat of the sandblaster to get the top off. So it'll be nice and shiny. If you sandblast, you have to have long sleeves. This mask and a breather thing, it gets so hot in there. Like you can like barely breathe. You start sweating really quick. But we barely got any done. Let's we'll put more sand in it and do it again in a minute. There was a leak on the radiator right there, and we're just tightening the oil pan bolts that are super loose. We're trying to see if we can get a new uh, air filter that went inside this case right here about the carburetor. It's probably super old, dirty. Yeah. Well, we took apart the cloth or leather that was on top of the seat, the original brown leather. We're gonna redo it and put it white or something. But this whole side is missing. Or it was missing. Pretty dirty. This is what the seats look, look like now. We took all the leather and cushion off. They're just. A big cushion, like a big box spring. Clean them, put new leather and cushion on them. <laughs> 